I would love if you clicked the link down below and listened to my new single, Kris Jenner. Fun fact, Kris Jenner is a Scorpio. Yes, Scorpio queen. It's my new single that came out this month, and it would seriously mean so much if you listen to it. If you like it, add it to your Spotify playlist, Apple Music, whatever, because I am a full-time musician, so I love making these videos, but my music helps me do this. It helps me give me money for equipment and, you know, having the time to spend an afternoon making videos and editing them for you guys. So please do that and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Hi Star Babies, how about this new setup? I kind of like it sitting in front of my little green Monstera here. Um, today's video, I know you're very excited when it popped up in your notifications because I hope you got your notifications turned on. Today's video is very, very highly requested. You guys have been so patient waiting for it. Whew. We're about to get deep today. This is Scorpio anger, or so a Scorpio is mad at you. I've been kind of like toying between the two subjects in my anger series, but we also kind of just go over what makes them angry, how they express their anger, etc. So I am definitely going to give you some insight because I have been the victim uh, of the Scorpio's anger many times before in my life. So I'm still alive somehow. <laughs> Thank you for not killing me, you guys. You guys are great. They're not in heaven. I don't know why I'm talking to them. If anything, they would be in hell. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into So a Scorpio's mad at you. So some reasons why a Scorpio might be mad at you is that you exposed them in some way. They're very secretive people. They really value their privacy and being able to keep things to themselves because it makes them feel protected and safe. They don't want to have their whole life out in public. So uh, if you expose their secrets or private conversations that you had. So if you are very close to the Scorpio and you know some really delicate things that they have told you and then you tell other people, or if you guys have obviously, like I just said, had private conversations and they find out that it's been getting around, that you've basically let what happened between you two go to everyone else. And this could even be in relationships. They also might get upset if you tell people about your sex life or your, you know, arguments that you had, they just don't like having their privacy violated. They really don't like it. And some other signs like Leo and things like that might actually like if you kind of are talking about your sex life with them and, and sharing little details, but a Scorpio, that really wouldn't fly. Uh, if you betray their trust in any way, that's big for them because they let very few people into their real circle. So if you really are their friend and you, for example, you go after someone that they like romantically, like they have confessed to you that they are into someone, into pursuing someone and you go after them. Or if you act two-faced, if they sense, I mean, you don't even have to be close with them in this sense, but you know, a lot of Scorpios like in high school and college, they just would not mess with the people that are two-faced. Those are those people that you have to make an excuse for, like, no, like if you really get to know her, she's great. I mean, she is kind of fake in group scenarios. A Scorpio wouldn't mess with those people. You gotta be real, and they're not gonna deal with the two-faced nonsense. So if you've shown them that you've been two-faced, or if you're in a social scenario and you kind of put them on the back burner, if you make them feel ignored, or like you're upgrading in any way, they won't like that. You're just a shady person. If you just, I'm thinking of school and career especially, but you know, if you kind of like don't give them proper credit for their ideas or like you try to sabotage a project that they're doing, you throw them under the bus um, or like expose their way of working, just like don't, <laughs> Don't throw them under the bus. Don't put them on blast. That's exactly what it is. Like, do not put them on blast because they will not be able to handle that. If you start replacing them or upgrading, this is really how I've pissed off every Scorpio that I've ever pissed off. They're one of those signs, they can be, where they don't really like you to have a lot of friends. So if you, um, because water signs can be, they're very emotional and sensitive and they don't have like a ton of friends because they really value true friends. However, Scorpio's possessiveness, they can have issues with their best friends making other friends. You, you're finally going to say, oh, I'm, I'm not able to go to the movies with you on Friday. How about Saturday? Friday, I'm going out with someone else. It's kind of like, oh, huh, really? So I know a lot of Scorpios that are like that and they might feel like you're putting them on the back burner, like they're not good enough for you, like you're upgrading. It scares them because they, um, 
they take a lot of care into letting people in to see the real them. So when they do that and you want to like move on, it's like, wait, I've opened up to you. I like you. I've given you everything emotionally. You are mine. You are my friend. You are mine. And you're going to go out and be with somebody else? No. And so in relationships too, that's dangerous. Now in that case though, does it really matter if this person's mad? Like, would you want to be friends with someone like that? Trust me, you don't. But anyway, the subtle jealousy, like in immature Scorpios, I've dealt with before a lot. Like, oh, you're upgrading me or you, like, you have a new best friend. You can't have more than, it's almost like to them, your heart is like a hotel that only has a certain amount of rooms. And if someone else comes, it's like, oh, so you're kicking me out of my room so they can get in? Like, that's not how it works, dude. Especially with a Leo's heart. We got a lot of room for love. But, um, yeah. If you start replacing them, stuff like that, they don't like it. Here's how you know <laughs> that a Scorpio is mad at you. Um, you are dead to them. They will ignore you. They will not mess with you. They will not talk with you. They will not give you the time of day. You are dead to them. You are a ghost. You are but a memory. They're definitely not going to be fake to you. So it's not like, are they mad at me or not? You'll know. But they're also not gonna, unless there's some other aspects in the chart or like, you know, other other signs, they're not gonna come up and punch you in the face. Um, they will act as if you do not exist. They will, uh, and if they do acknowledge you, it will be to scoff at you, to put you down, to make you feel like your ideas and your input in any conversations are stupid. Scorpios, when I've been friends with them and they've been mad at other people, they can be some of the most embarrassing people to be around. Not because they really embarrass themselves, but because you feel so uncomfortable that they are so ruthless at humiliating someone. They can really come across as like a bully. Um, they will kind of remind you of the things that you've done wrong in conversation and that's another way to bully you. It's just things that are like, whoa, that shoot you down. Or, you know, if you're having a conversation in class about say you're in like an ethics course in high school or college and you have betrayed them they're gonna be like yeah you know one thing that I think is really terrible is people that betray other people I think those are just the worst people you can ever meet and they should honestly be killed on the spot like they just ugh, they can be so mean and it can be so awkward to be especially caught in between a Scorpio being mad at someone it's also the worst. If you're friends with a Scorpio, that will happen because they're basically like, well, if I don't like them, you shouldn't like them because their dislike for people is so deep and like they're so convicted about why they don't like people and they're like, how can you like them? Like, how can you be loyal to me and like them? Then there's a whole other thing. It's quite complicated with them. You know, like I've shown and like I was just talking about, they can definitely do purposefully mean and insidious things. Um, they will go out with friends and post photos and like when you're not invited to purposefully hurt you. They will, I mean, they can be a little petty. They'll, they'll make captions or post things to purposefully hurt you, but they just will really dig into your insecurities or any, anything secret that you've told them now is fair game to use against you because you've betrayed them, you've made them mad, or they want to expose you because in their minds that's really the worst way that you can hurt someone is to isolate them and expose them for their fakeness or their, you know, stupidity or anything like that. It's like, well, you started it, so anything's fair. Scorpios are some of the most infamous grudge holders. I mean, years, years. And they will bring things up that again, like I said, you know, in ethics class or whatever, they will bring things up that will target exactly what you've done to them or, you know, bring things up to hurt you. Years later, it's just like, you wanna say to them like, oh my God, can we be over it please? But nope, not, not until they're ready. They're just super, super hurtful and they're very, not all of them are so aggressive and bullying, but I remember when me and my Scorpio boy boyfriend broke up um, a little bit later he found out that I was dating somebody else and he contacted me and was like, you know, I hope you're happy. Um, and I knew he was mad because he wasn't expressing himself like that hurts me. But he was like, are you like, well, first he was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, wow. And I'm like, I, we were broken up. Like we don't even live by each other anymore. And he was like, okay, well, I hope you're happy and I'm always going to care for you, but I will never love you again. And I just knew, like now looking back on it, he said that to hurt me, but it killed me because we had this like, 
this relationship that was so, you know, I have such a love for Scorpios because the relationships are real. No matter, you know, romantic friendship work, they are, they just have, they're built on a lot. And so when a Scorpio loves you, you just will feel so loved, but it's also like so possessive, but some signs can crave that. I don't know how to explain it. So anyway, when he said, I will never love you again, I was like, Like, that's the worst thing he could have said to me. Like, because I didn't really betray him. Like, it wasn't cheating at all. Um, and, you know, now I think we've we've both moved on and, and he understands, you know, why we couldn't be together. But just that one phrase, like, I still remember feeling so sad. I don't know why. I should have just been like, I don't care. That's fine. You don't have to love me again. But it was like him denouncing everything we'd had and being like, you're dead to me. Because the only way he knew me was as someone that he loved. So for him to be like, I'll never love you again, it was basically his thing of being like, F you, you're dead to me, bye. And everything we ever had was, you're dead to me. And it's just like, ugh. So, ways to fix it, because I know you're eager. Sorry to tell you guys, this is not like Taurus, where you can send them some food and some flowers and fix it up. This is not like a Leo, where you give them a couple compliments, maybe you, I don't know, show up at their show and take a bunch of pictures of them and post them on Instagram, like, stop trying. Stop trying. Right now. Stop trying. Stop trying to force it. Stop. Scorpios are actually some of the most stubborn people because they're so, they basically will beat a dead horse. And you can't tell them, hey, that horse is dead, like, you've been beating it for quite some time, but I can plainly see, like, its eyeballs are falling out, it's dead. They're like, no, it's not. No, it's not. And it's not dead until they say it is. And that's how they are. I thought of a little phrase while I was writing my notes. If it's a grudge, they won't budge. So just stop. Just step away. Stop. You're going to at least have to temporarily lose a friend or lose your partner. Like, you cannot push them to to heal. And this one is like especially that way. Every relationship I've had with Scorpios that was rough, you know, where we had a fight, it took years to be repaired. And it wasn't something, you know, it wasn't something I was actively thinking about. They weren't actively, like, trying to get to me every day. The more mature they are, you know, they'll deal with their pain and their suffering more to themselves. But it certainly was, like, uncomfortable for a little while. They need to reach out to you. Everything that happens emotionally, like healing-wise with them, is on their time and on their terms. And if you're still willing to accept that, then you can be a Scorpio's friend. Um, a lot of stuff, even though they are kind of quite gentle and emotional, is still, they're kind of bossy. It's on their terms, it's how they want it. So I, for some reason, they, they're different than me in that sense, so I've always gotten along with them. Um, and I would rather someone take their time to get over things and come back to me fully healed rather than, you know, try to smack me in the face and then apologize and then we hug and make... That's just so fake. So Scorpios really do work through their problems if they are healthy. But yeah, it can take years. They, they have to let the past die. They have to literally have a funeral for all of the crap that you've done to them or all of their grudges and then they can reemerge awesome. If you want to expedite the process and you've really done something wrong, you're going to just have to be independent. You're going to have to show them that you've had a change of heart. You know, if you need to, have a real change of heart. Start living that way. And maybe they'll come back to you if they feel like you had value in their life and that they miss you and that they're willing to move on from whatever transpired between you guys but it's on their time. You cannot force them to get over it. And if a Scorpio is really out for blood though, you know, they're kind of immature and they're really trying to like make your life miserable and punish you, try to keep your head above the water, try to ignore it and just kind of like melt back into the background when they do things like that. Um, you know, it depends on your sign, but when you get mad, you might really want to yell at somebody or like even beat the crap out of them when they do stuff like that but you're just gonna have to be the bigger person and step back and usually they'll get bored. You know, if, if they're not seeing that their actions are really hurting you or like really having this big effect on you emotionally and ruining your life, they could get bored. You just really have to weigh if, if it's worth it to you, if that friendship is worth it and if you're willing to wait. And for me, I could even say to myself, you know what, 
I think at this time, um, this person and I are just not supposed to be friends at this stage in our life. There are seasons, I say this to so many people, there are seasons of life and sometimes you just are not matching up. Sometimes if someone is immature and they're abusing you in a way, you know, they're, they're kind of bullying you verbally or they're too possessive of you, they've got some lessons that they need to learn. You can't teach them, you can't expedite that process, you can't force them to mature. It is, everybody is a caterpillar waiting to turn into a butterfly and some people are just in the cocoon longer. Some people are just caterpillars longer, honestly, they're not even in the cocoon yet. So just be patient and weigh, okay, should I, do I really want to have this person in my life? If I do, then I know that, you know, it's kind of that thing, if you love them, let them go and they will come back. If they don't, you will move on and your life might be better. Um, so I'm kind of thankful for Scorpio anger because it also gives you time to mature, time to be away from someone, and then when you come back, it's almost always better than it was because you guys have grown. So that's my take on Scorpio anger. I hope that I helped you. I hope I didn't scare you. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, another video in my anger series. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck dealing with this angry, hurt person. And just be patient, be kind, uh, step into the background if you can, just take a step back and everything's going to be okay, as I always say. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing week, weekend, whatever you're doing. Don't forget to follow me on social media and listen to my new song, Kris Jenner. All right, love you. Mwah. Bye, guys.